So you are looking for a high quality speaker cable, but you don't want to go and spend those thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars or euro for a premium cable. Nor you don't want to even do your own cable by yourself. You don't know how to do that. You don't want to go through that hassle. Maybe in this video we have the solution. What's inside here? Doom. Okay guys, yes, welcome to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. As you know, every once in a while I do some cables and I also do speaker cables. Actually, I did an important two-part series uh, dedicated to speaker cables where I go through all the science and the tech aspects. Okay, here is a link. You're also going to find it in the video description. That was the first part. In the second part, I actually went through doing your own type of cable, which is the RAM audio based on the Amadeus Mark II. Fantastic cable. Here is another link. Once again, you're also going to find all of the links in the video description. So that was a do it your own, do it yourself project, okay? With high quality OCC copper material, conductors. That is the main aspect. As I always underline, a lot of people who follow me know perfectly what I'm talking about. There, are, there has to be two aspects, in my opinion, that have to be inside a good quality type of cable. Any type. Power cable, interconnect, anything. Even digital cables. Not gonna go inside that. And also, as you can imagine, speaker cables, which is probably the most important type of cable of all to have to achieve high quality audio. And what am I talking about? OCC copper and insulation. The best of all is Teflon insulation. If you have these two aspects, you just need that. You don't have to go, as I always say, and buy those very extremely fancy cables. Yes, I'm sure a lot of them have special type of geometry, a lot of research, maybe more esoteric materials inside or insulations that are probably even better, but it's just going to give you that one or two percent. A lot of people want that one or two percent more in quality. If you don't want that one, two percent, you can find, I'm going to give you now some ideas, especially this baby here, to really reach the pinnacle. Spending a good amount of money, yes, because as I said, you want to have quality, you don't want to get your hands dirty, so you're going to have to pay a little bit, but not those crazy prices you find. I don't want to say any brands because there's so many, but practically all of the high quality audio file hi fi brands start at two, three, four thousand, even more, up to 30,000 30, prices of a car or a house. It's insane, okay? Clearly, in my opinion, it's insane. Even if you have the money. I mean, put it in the system. That's what I think. But cables are do, do have a very important impact on sound. At least, that is my opinion. If you want to know more on my opinion on cables, uh, here is a link on one of the videos, but I'll also put more links on other types of videos I did on cables, because I did quite a few. I actually have um, a playlist, so I'll link that, and you're also going to find the playlist here below. Okay, so, before proceeding with the object of this video, I just want to mention that I also indicated a very good quality cable, cheap, ready to, to use, plug and play speaker cable by SKW, the BG05. Fantastic cable for the money. OCC copper, it's not Teflon insulation, they just generally say foam, so you don't know what that foam is. It's just four nines, it's not extremely pure OCC copper. A lot of people think it's not OCC. Maybe they're right, maybe they're right, there is no certification. I think it is. These tell me so. A lot of people don't care about these, I do. 
because it, when you put something of not OCC copper, you hear that immediately while it just drops. But apart from that, in any case, the quality of those cables for a very cheap price is exquisite. It's fantastic. Here is a link to that video where you're all going to, you're going to find all the details. Okay. Okay. So let's get to the main core of this video, this baby in here. Let's see what's inside this fake crocodile briefcase. I just have one. Here is the certificate of OCC copper, authentic OCC copper. Clearly when you have this, you're going to pay even more for it, but it is a certificate. And here is the baby, the NES or NES 3001. Oh yes, mama. Now I found these used because they are expensive and I was lucky. And I must admit that I want to say it right from the start that they are a good step above the Ram audio and clearly of the SKW, not light years ahead. Okay. Not light years, a good step. If I have to put it in numbers, we could say that the SKW is around a seven and this is main probably a nine. So a two point distance and the Ram would be probably maybe eight. Yeah. Eight and a half. And this will put it at nine, nine and a half, put a little bit of distance. Yeah. That doesn't mean overall. It doesn't mean a nine and a half overall, just to have a comparison between these three cables. Okay. Just to make things clear. Now this is, I'm going to read the specs, a 17 gauge cable. 15 millimeter. It has 16 solid core OCC copper conductors singularly, singularly insulated with Teflon PTFE insulation is paramount. Okay. Just as much, maybe a little less, but almost as the conductor itself, it's fundamental because the, the, the electric constant is something that does influence audio, the signal. It is scientifically proven. Maybe the impact for a lot of people isn't that much, but when you start changing and trying different types of insulation of the electrics, you, you immediately see how Teflon is one of the best of the best. In fact, it is expensive. And that's why this cable already done, ready to go. They have to do it for you. And you can't just grab it off a shelf goes around 1,500 euro dollars, more or less. It depends clearly where you're getting it. If there's special offers, promo codes and things like that. That's the main price slightly below that. Actually, the good news is that you can get the Nest 3001 as bulk. In fact, I highly recommend that I got this only because I found it used and I just went for it. Otherwise you can do it by your own if you're good to solder or maybe just crimp with speaker cables. It's easy. You just get something to, to have a good connector at the end. No need to solder. So that's, that's absolutely feasible. In my opinion, I would go that way. If you don't find anything at a cheapo price, the bulk, uh, goes for around 200, $180 Euro per meter. And you're probably going to need at least, I would say three meters, one and a half, one and a half, maybe two and two. It depends clearly from your setup. So do the math to see if in the end, including conductors and things like that, uh, connectors, it is worthwhile. Probably is. You're not going to reach 1,500. I think at least you have very long cables, but at that point, it's not going to be 1,500. <laughs> it's going to be much more the already ready cable. It's clearly better to do it by yourself if you have a little bit patience. And once again, speaker cables are not that difficult. I mean, there are other types of cables, much more difficult, but it requires some patience and accuracy. So I'll try to give you some indications on the sound, but not too much because a lot of people criticize me for this. You never go in depth in the sound of cables 
I think there's no sense actually in describing the sound of cables because as we all know, a good cable is the non-sounding cable. So I think uh, I really don't perceive things like when I describe the, the sound of gear. That makes sense, but not cables. I just find that they increase or decrease what your system is already delivering. So as I said, SKW, very good. RAM, very, very good. This top notch. It's called it's copper. Okay. If you want, I forgot to mention, there's also the step above OCC silver, the NES 1001, which is the top of the line of Neotech. It's OCC silver. I mean, you guys, it's extremely pure silver, a lot of silver, and it goes the ready cable for around two meters <laughs> retail more than 9,000 euro or dollars or things like that. So I would forget about that. If you really want to do that, might as well try to do the bulk type of cable because there's also, if you find it, it's not easy, the Ness 1001 bulk cable, which goes around 1,000 euro, $1,000 per meter. So if you get two or three meters, as you can see, and good conductors, you're way below the retail price, clearly. But those are astronomical prices. I think here we're still in a high end, absolutely high end cost, high end premium quality. But it is worthwhile because, as I said, there is a jump in the Sonics. The whole system just bloomed. It just sounded better. And I'm going to stop there. I don't want to say nothing more because it, I would invent words and I don't want to do that. My system had its sound. It just bloomed. It just got better in all its parts. Very simple. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments on other OCC silver or copper speaker cables if you know others, because I'm interested in that. I know also other people watching us. And what else can I say? Music is born. Analog. Bye. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.